Yeah, kind of narrow in here, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> Welcome, welcome to, um, Lord of the Rings, Minecraft official server. I am me, or, Becker, what was that? <laughs> I've been in the overworld for a very long time, and I'm getting tired of it, so I'm going home. Taking the usual route, I've just been in the largest ever room in Minecraft. I'd like to even show it to you. Maybe I can, maybe I, maybe I can find my way back to it before I start showing you all these wonderful other things I'm going to do in this episode. Uh, assuming I'm going to do anything else in this episode. I've already shown you part of this my- oh. Oh, well I'm not grabbing that one. Uh, wait a minute. This isn't how I got up. I was gonna go that way. Uh, yeah, cause it's that way, that's why. <laughs> Here it is! Or... No? No? Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute, I know it, I saw it, I found it. Biggest room I ever saw. It's this way. Oh, it's the next one over. You jump here. That's it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, and I gotta, I gotta bridge this up because I was digging down there. Look at this. This is the largest room I have ever seen in Minecraft. There's one big, big room thing there, and there's a big, big, big room there. And I don't know what's over there. It might be something else. This is humongous. I have... In fact, let's tear off F7 so we can get a more realistic look at... Oh, there's gold over there. But I want to... I want to light this thing up. But uh, anyway, I'll, I'll take care of this. This is huge. I've never seen a room this huge in all my time spent playing this game. And it's been over two years. Now here's what I got. Let's see here. Three slime balls. You're not supposed to have slime balls in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> don't need the bow. Uh, arrow. No, I don't. Rails and iron ore. Four more stacks of iron ore. 41 gold. 43 lapis. Two diamonds. 14 emeralds. <laughs> Lots of tracks, because you know what I'm going to do with those tracks probably build something rails or something wait a minute how do I get out of here again no keep going keep going <laughs> someday what was that we'll forget and here's the way out I was gonna set up the uh, shaders mod on this thing I may yet do so I like shaders on this thing uh, but then you can't see anything and seeing where you're going is tantamount or really important There's a see that guy original potato just says he left the game He's been on and off and he's been here and there But I noticed he's been doing a lot of suffocating in walls after he's been getting killed. Oh constable Sam's dead I was wondering if that was Sam Vines Or something Potatoes back the lag Well, I've just found out that they've disabled the end this is the new server. I haven't told you about the new server. Oh, no, wait. I think I did. They changed the... Here's the overworld. Oh, you know what? I haven't gone into the underworld yet to get all that netherrack I was going to get. So I'm going to have to drop my junk off. Junk that I don't need. Alright, well, I'll get back when I've finished uh, going through the nether, which does a lot of rubber banding, and then I've got to go back here and get all my stuff, which I can't carry with me all at once, and I don't, I don't have enough slots. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Well, see you later. 
Well, I made it back and I got everything uh, put. Well, I didn't take everything in. Oh, look, it's Sunday Six Soul Math. <laughs> I was never that good at math. Uh, well, I could count to six. I never could count to soul for whatever reason. <laughs> oh, yes, I have a craft. I uh, a crafting. Oh, yeah, I was looking for 13. Uh, you know about that. Yeah, the enchanting does work. Sometimes the enchanting doesn't work, but I have been getting stuff enchanted. As you can see here, it is possible. <laughs> it's supposedly not a lot. Oh, as you can see, I've enclosed this area, and I put some nice dwarven glowstone brick. Oh. I got a lot of stuff to, to, to get through. Lots of, lots of, lots. I got to do the stone, of course. I gotta turn that and stuff. Lots of netherrack, lots of iron ore. Oh, lots of everything, really. It'll take a long time. I'm relying upon people to walk by here once in a while. Not necessarily to get in the place, but I'm relying upon them to... Aww, I hate when this happens. It's like, why? There we go. <laughs> Not sure how that works. Oh, we got some new things going on. I don't know what that is. That looks new. Maybe I've seen it before. This is the area around spawn. I've probably already told you about this, where there's a bunch of different buildings. Mine is the largest building. <laughs> no, there's a big building over there. That's that's something important. But my building is not very important at all. But, yeah, it's meant to be. So that does work. I didn't even fill the cauldron yet. Don't know. Four crafting tables. Blue Mountain and Dwarven. I'm not sure which type I like best. But I like wearing Dwarven. But the blue mountain stuff is good, too. Gondorian, I haven't practiced too much with that, but I'll get to that in a minute. And Galadrian, I had to get these. You can't just make them. Well, you can, but, you know. I want to explain something else. Uh, how, do I, how do I look at what mods are available? Controls. Gameplay, inventory, LOTR, movement, multiplayer, streaming. These should be nuns. Because I don't want to accidentally start streaming. Nothing there. Okay. Well, there's a new mod. And I'll show you something. Scorched stone wall. Shaped crafting. Okay. Scorched stone. Smelting. Oh, no. That's, that's no help. All right. You know what? There's there's a, just, just trust me that there's a new NEI add-on mod that uh, uh, incorporates many things. Well, yeah. Let's, let's look here somewhere. Find a block here somewhere. Acacia wood beam. Nope, that's not. Obsidian toradine. There we are. Toradine crafting. See, so you have to actually... You've actually got all the crafting tables are involved with that new special add-on. Alright, well... Now, you're going to like this. This is going to be an office, and it is. I haven't finished the table yet. As you can see, here's a space here. Look at that ceiling. <gasps> I love it. My only problem is I was thinking of having something else for the ceiling. We'll work on that. Now, this room still hasn't been finished, but I got that. There's nothing. I was going to put... This might be a barracks or something. We might have a bunch of beds in here. I don't know why we'd have beds. Nobody goes to sleep in a place like this. Down here, of course, is the one thing... The large chest for donations. I don't get much. Usually a potato or something. Every once in a while, somebody drops something. <laughs> yeah, I've enclosed that. As you can see, that's tile L-O-T-R slab single five dot eleven dot name. <laughs> really great name for this thing. Here's the, uh, I like that. Carved Galadrim brick. See, it looks like trees. Unfortunately, I can only get it to face the one way, which upsets me. It's going to be the main meeting hall, or the main, yeah, the main meeting hall with the meat hall and everything. Now there were, yeah, that goes up to the next one of those. I've now got two of those. I got one at, at 96, and I got one down at 32, so it, it's going all the way down this time. I'm going to have one higher than that if I build the towers, which I might not. That's going to be the main, uh, the main window from the front room, so you can see down into here. That's going to be cool. I'm also thinking of having some kind of balcony over on this side. There's a horse or a pony or something. This is where I'm keeping all my stuff. Yes, I got a whole bunch of mortar rock in another location. Mortar rock turned into black 
Gondorian brick turn into roofs of 2F and maybe the walls of 3F. Now that I think of it, it might not be a good thing for the walls of 3F, but that's not important. You can also see I didn't do all the ceilings yet. This is going to be a two-story high one. I'm also adding bricks for the that level, although I don't know why I'm doing that. It's kind of silly. These AFK rooms are mostly finished. I have to add those, but I don't have any more clay brick. This is being worked on. I'm going to have, these are going to be, uh, you could be able to see outside from here too. The main thing though is I'm going to install windows and here's the window panes as you can see, literally. You can see out of, I'm fi since this isn't going to be half slabs up here, I might turn these into ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo stair blocks so that you can walk up them. But it doesn't matter too much. And I see the reason why I, I was going to have redstone and maybe lapis, but I don't have quite enough blocks for this. I might point something out. Lapis and redstone are almost completely useless in this game. But yes, you can have minecarts and stuff. And I am thinking of setting up minecarts, so maybe not. I haven't finished that yet either. also have to have... I have to figure out where I'm going to put the uh, walking from here to here. Is it going to be here? Is it going to be here? In the middle, I don't know yet. But these are going to be rooms. They're going to have furniture and stuff. And I'll put other perks of joining the... the uh, What's it called again? The Warrior's Guild. So it just looks tacky at this point in time. But it isn't. It really isn't. I got that new scorched stone wall for the edges. And I kind of like that, but... I'm not sure. Maybe I can switch it to the dark, the dark Gondorian or black Gondorian. It would look cool that way too. I haven't decided yet. If the black Gondorian stuff looks like bricks, I will definitely change it because everything else here is bricks. That's bricks. That's bricks. So this is not bricks. Is annoying. We don't have any. St yeah, this looks too bright. It looks too bright. Maybe I should make it red. And but eh, I need the the redstone. Look from here, look through there, into there. That's pretty cool. That way you can see who's home. And then what we'll do is we'll put in some... We'll put in doors here so only members can get through. That kind of thing. Like you see here... The Blue Mountain Embassy, which has beautiful Blue Mountain brick. And I'm avoiding it because they've got some here. I don't want to have many over there. They've got a Dwarven door. And you can't go through it. Dwarven brick I don't mind so much. What do we got here? This is the kind of thing, this and that and this and that and this and that and this and that and this and that, this and that and this and that and this and that. That's all very nice. And that's for the uh, extra pathways and stuff. And you can see the first floor stuff by jumping in there. Oh, that's where that, that's where that was. I was wondering. Of course, I care nothing about that embassy specifically as I have the dwarven, uh, not the dwarven, blah, the the Warriors Guild. What else has been done? Now I'm still constructing the uh, the ceiling as you can see here. I don't know what's going to be in these back rooms on the first floor. Um, haven't figured that out yet. We're not anywhere near doing what we've done over there. Because we need to make lots and lots and lots and lots of bricks. And that's pretty much it. I haven't uh, been working on my main base back on, what's it called again? Palando Island. I haven't done that. And why? Well, if you've looked at Palando Island, it's a huge project. And I don't want, I want to do the main one first. So we're pretty much done here. This was done so I could get rid of the torches. But I think maybe the torch was a better idea. I don't know. 
And I gotta do some of these now. So you'll pardon me. And I thank you for watching. I'm gonna try and get some battles in in the near future. Every time I get some battles in, if I'm not careful, I get killed. In fact, I usually get killed. So I have to make take lots of precautions against getting killed. And that's very difficult. For example, you'll notice I haven't yet enchanted the armor. <laughs> That's because there's a bug in the XP and it's not showing. So anyway, we'll see you next time. And here's hoping I get to actually work on this and make something of it. Until then, it's not yet then.